Hello everyone, my name is Siddharth and I'm a medical intern here in India. Currently, I've given my USMLE Step 1 exam and I've passed it. And you're watching the Hematology question solving series. For the previous videos, you can check out the tag on the screen. And do check out my previous USMLE Step 1 videos. And so let's begin with this one. Okay, so... A 28-year-old woman comes to the emergency department with acute onset abdominal pain, nausea, and confusion. She has no significant past medical history and does not use uh, tobacco or alcohol as they ha have made her feel sick in the past. Serum lipase and uh, liver function tests are normal. CT scan of abdomen is normal. A sample of her urine is reddish in color and darkens on standing for 24 hours. This is very characteristic of uh, acute intermittent porphyria. Okay. And uh, IV dextrose is administered for our symptoms and they improve significantly. Okay. So they are asking that dextrose infusion most likely improved uh, this patient's condition by affecting which of the following pathways. Okay. So let's look at the history a little bit more and analyze it a little bit. So they say that the patient has uh, acute onset abdominal pain, nausea and confusion. And they also say that her uh, urine is reddish in color and darkens on standing for 24 hours. So uh, this is definitely acute intermittent porphyria because uh, of uh, porphobilinogen deaminase deficiency. And uh, they also say that alcohol has made her feel, feel sick in the past. So alcohol is a CYP inducer and it upregulates the ALA synthase enzyme and which can lead to uh, acute symptoms. Yeah. And what else? Yeah. Liver function tests are normal. CT shows no abnormalities. So everything else is normal. And uh, dextrose improves uh, significantly. Yeah. So what happens in dext when you give glucose is the ALA synthase enzyme activities decrease. So the acute symptoms decrease. And the way to identify uh, acute intermittent porphyria is from that cycle, which I'll put it up on the screen somewhere. And uh, so there are mainly two uh, places where the deficiency can cause the acute symptoms. In the early pathway, it will cause neuro symptoms, which are visceral symptoms. And in the later pathway, it will cause photosensitivity, which are cutaneous symptoms. And so, yeah, the correct answer for this one would be porphyrin synthesis.